Hello, this is a video as part of the online masterclass of how to use the 3D Fibre Lash Plus Mascara. Now, I've had a few reports of some people telling me that their mascaras have gone a little bit clumpy. So if you pay attention to this video, I'm going to give you a few hints and tips of you know how you can stop them from happening. Because if it's going clumpy, you're probably not using it correctly. So I always start with giving my eyelashes a good brush. Now you can start with by putting on another mascara first to prep them. I don't bother with that. Um, as you can, I've already done one eye and you know poor me I'll just show you my eyelashes are naturally very short and pretty straight so this mascara really is a lifesaver for me um, I mean I've, I've got all kinds of like ball patches in my eyelashes as well they really aren't great so this really does just make the best of my eyelashes and if you've already got long lashes then it'll just make it look even more amazing so I'm just going to start by giving the lashes a good brush now you can usually find these lash brushes on the end of an eyebrow comb or you can just get them really cheap off eBay get packs of them okay they're all prepped and ready and then we start with the gel the gel goes on first now you, you've not to sort of do this with the gel if you've a little bit of excess just give it a little wipe on the rim and here we go. And always wiggle, always wi <laughs> always wiggle from the root. And I'm really, really trying not to make a weird mascara face. It's especially difficult because I'm using my phone as a mirror. So already looking a lot better just with the gel on. Now, to keep your mascara in the best condition possible, it's always best to give it a little minute before you put the fibres on, so to let it go a little bit tacky. But for the purpose of this video and time, I'm just going to go for it. So then we go with the fibres. And you can see they're just really thickening up my lashes. Now I have done this as a separate video before. But I'm going to show you on the same one. If you really want added curl and lift with your eyelashes, then you're going to think I'm crazy. You blow dry them. <laughs> now I was really scared to do it for ages so I thought that I'd burn my eyeball but I promise you you don't. So it's really important that the fibres dry before you apply the second coat of gel. If your mascara has gone clumpy it'll be because you're not leaving it long enough in between the fibres and the gel and the fibres are getting mixed up with the gel. So this is actually a really good way just to make sure it's nice and dry also. So I'll just do it now. Just for a few seconds and you can see it's just lifted my lashes don't even need to use an eyelash curler now and then you just finish off with a second coat of the gel it's so hard not to make faces <laughs> more on there to finish off and there you have it and I usually just put a little bit of the gel on my lower lashes as well as I would for the normal mascara and the great thing about this mascara is the key ingredient it makes it so good for your eyelashes and it just conditions your lashes is it's actually got some of the uplift serum in it as well which i'm going to be talking about a little bit later on so thank you for watching